and uh, let's go to the review first before we're going to learn our new lesson. So, I, uh, you already learned about uh, uh, the word bigger and the, the word smaller and these two words, we use these two words to compare things or people and, and we use it uh, to compare the size, the size of something. For example, you look like, oh, this is a, a book and this is a marker. So when we compare the size of these two objects, we always say, oh, the book is bigger and the marker is smaller. And for uh, any of the two words that you already learned, like the word uh, taller and shorter. So we use the word taller and shorter when we want to compare about two things, but we compare about the height, the height of two things. For example, I, uh, uh, I, I compare about, uh, for example, two uh, images, this is the two people, or this is the two things, and I, I, I don't mind about the, the size, but I just mind about the height. And then I put these two things close to each other, and I can say that, oh, the shoe, the shoe, uh, sorry, the shoe is taller, and the marker is uh, shorter. So it means when I use the word taller and shorter, when I compare the height, the height of two things or two people or something that two I want to compare. So that's all for the review and uh, here is uh, your lesson for today that we learned about unit 2 about comparison. So comparison here is it, it, uh, similar or the same in the previous lesson. It means when we want to compare two things to each other by the appearance, like the height or the size. So, uh, for the first part of the lesson, I will uh, teach you two points. Like the first one about the word tall versus uh, short. So, when we want to compare, uh, uh, when, when we want to use the word tall or short, when we want to compare the height the height of people or the height of objects. So here you look at the first is a brother, you know, okay, a brother, and this one, uh, she is a sister, and these two uh, siblings, these two siblings, they are standing near or close to each other. And then uh, uh, I want to compare the height of these two people, and you look at this that we have the, the red from 1, 2, 3 and 4 and look at the sister when the sister is standing up she has only uh, red number 2 but we look at the brother he is tall he has red 1, 2, 3, 4 in number 4 so when we compare these two people we can say that now can you tell me that which one that is tall and which one it is short. Can you answer me? Okay, so the answer is the brother is tall. Okay, so read together. Tall. Tall. Okay, because the brother has the rating number four. But what about the sister? The sister is short. Short. Because the sister has only the rating number two. Okay, so that's all for the word tall versus the word short. Now we go to number two that we will compare about the word fat, fat, and the word thin, thin, thin. Okay, so read again, fat, thin, okay. So you look at these two friends, they are friends. They are best friends, they, they, they love eating together, they love spending time together. But only the problem is, this one, he eats too much food, too much food, especially the fat food. And this one, he's lazy to eat, really lazy to eat. He just eat one or two times a day, and sometimes he, he just drink water. So that's it for a day for himself. That's why he look 
very thin. So here, when I want you to choose and, and tell me which one is fat, which one is thin, you really can answer me. So look, the boy is of a big body, right? he has fat in his body. So I can say this boy is fat. Okay, fat. And this one, he, ha he, he has no muscles at all. He has no strength or whatever because he eats less food. So I can say that he is thin, thin, thin. Okay, so have a quick review before go to your test one. So this one is tall, short, fat, and thin. And we use the word tall and short when we want to compare about the height. And we use the word fat or thin when you want to compare about the side. Okay, the side. Okay, here is your first part that fill in the gaps. So over here, uh, we have four words like you already learned, like the word tall, the word short, the word fat, and the word thin. And I have pictures for you, like one, two, three, four. So you need to look, you need to draw this into your notebook or piece of paper. And after drawing, you need to complete the gaps by using the words in the, the box about to complete this one. Okay, so please carefully look and complete before submitting. So that's all for the first, for the first part and see you in the next lesson. So, uh, what you have learned in the first video is about uh, the comparison about the word tall and short and the word fat and thin. Like uh, when we use the word tall and short, when we want to uh, compare the height, the height of the two things or uh, uh, two people. And uh, when we want to use the word fat or the word thin, when we want to compare uh, the size, the size of uh, two things or two uh, people. Okay, so that's all for the review, and now we go to the uh, the third part of your lesson. So, third part of your lesson is about number three that you will uh, learn how to compare about the word old and young. So. Here we read together old, 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 and this one is young, young. So when we use the word old or young, when we want to compare about the age, about the age, like I say, or oh, I am 10 years old, you are 2 years old. So between 2 years old and 10 years old, which one is more? Which one is old and which one is young? So you can answer that, oh, 10 is more, so 10 is old, and 2 is less than 10, so 2 is young. So that's why I can say that we use the word old or young when we want to compare about the age of objects, the age of the trees, or the age of people. Okay, so uh, here in the example, you look, there are two pictures. The first one, uh, maybe you can answer me that. Who is she? Yeah, grandma. Or we say grandmother. So this is a grandmother. This is my grandmother. And this is your grandmother. And who is she? Who is she? Your little sister? Yeah, alright. She is a baby. She is a little sister of your family or your uh, parents. And she is a baby. So look at the baby and grandma. So which one is old and which one is young? When I talk about age, for example, uh, grandma is uh, 60 years old 
and the baby is uh, one or two years old like that. So you look at the age, which one is more and which one is less. Absolutely, 60 is more than 2. 2 is less than 60. So I can say that grandma is old. Okay, old. And the baby is young. Okay, so read together. Old. Old. Young. The grandma is old. The baby is young. Okay, so that's it for the lesson. So now we go quick to exercise two. So the task two together. So your task two is coloring. Coloring. So here the instructions. So you need to read these three instructions before doing your task two. Fat in red. So it means you look at the picture and find the picture of fat and color in red, not other colors. If you color in yellow or color in pink or color in blue, it's not right. So read the instructions. So here, fat, the fat picture, you need to color in red. Okay, red, right here. Tall in yellow. So the tall picture, you need to color in yellow. You know yellow? Right, yes, yellow. Okay, and the last one is old in pink. So you find the picture of old person and then you color in in pink. So remember the three colors, fat in red, tall in yellow, and old in pink. So that's all for uh, your part two and see you in the last video. If you don't or you haven't done it, please go and do it and submit to teacher later. So uh, I want to sum up what you have learned so far in the first second video. So what you have learned so far, you learned about the comparison of the word tall, short, fat, thin, and old and young. So uh, for the word tall and short, you use this word to compare about the height. The height of two things or two people. And then you use the, the word fat and thin when you want to compare about the size of two things or two people. And for the last one is when you want to use the word old and young, when you want to compare about the age of two things or two people. Like you see, the age of grandma and the age of the baby. The baby. And besides uh, giving the task 1 and task 2, I also have a homework that for you to do and to make sure that you understand the lesson. So your homework is uh, on page 23 in your textbook, in your math textbook. So please uh, open your textbook on page 23 together and I will explain how to do your homework. Okay? So, the homework right here is on page 23 that uh, match the person to the correct word. So, over here we have six words like tall, short, uh, thin, fat, old, and young. And we also have six words right here. And we have dot. So, you need to combine the dot out of the word to the dot out of the picture in the correct position. Okay, so this is how to do your homework. So that's all for today, and hopefully you catch up the lesson pretty well. And please take care of yourself, your family, by washing your hands, and stay uh, from the long distance from people, or uh, from the groups of people, and especially take care of your family and yourself. Thank you, that's all for today.
ส่งสมาคมมาการชนะยูทูบส่งจุดเปลี่ยน subscribe นั่งสัญญาลุกกันดังดังไม่ตัวตัวบานวีดีโอเมเรียนทำไมทำไมจีจราเตีย